I was reaching out to a really interesting company, in my opinion. I'm, from time to time, I'm just scrolling through Indiegogo and Kickstarter. I'm looking for the next big thing or for the next product I'm just really interested in or the brand behind it I'm really interested in collaborating with. And I was just um, stumbling across a really um, interesting and unique approach on a telescope from tiny scope camera and i can just show it you here it's not currently on kickstarter it's still on the funding and i thought well this is pretty cool a telescope um just standing for themselves and um, also just with connection to your um, smartphone um, could be really interesting um, for some scenarios for science and scientists out there and i was like okay just give me a try i reached out to them and asked them hey could you give me a review sample and we can just work together? They were just like, well, uh, we can send you a microscope. And I was like, no, I don't want a microscope. I just want a telescope, like the one you're just currently having on Kickstarter. And they were, nope, we just send you a microscope. And as you already can see, I feel their very first try and the reason they just call tiny scope camera, because um, a couple of months ago, um, I have noticed this, they already had another uh, crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter for this little tiny scope I have here. It's also just a standalone camera, but in the opposite direction, not a telescope, but a microscope. And that's why today we're just taking a look at this really interesting approach they're just and going for. I have a couple of little items here. We just can take a really, really close look in and maybe decide if this is something really interesting, cool you should probably get, or is it just really a niche product? So we'll just find out right after the intro. And as always, we just first start with a little unboxing and I already just took a look inside of here, I must be honest. So um, it's pretty unique and pretty cool. So we just get this um, complete standalone device with just here and you just sometimes um, also need this Wi-Fi box. This Wi-Fi box is just handy and cool because um, this camera is just driven and powered by your smartphone when you have an Android smartphone because it can just use the OTG mode of your Android smartphone. But if you have an iPhone like I have, um, you just need this little Wi-Fi box with on the one hand just powers the camera and on the other side just also access as the Wi-Fi hotspot you can just can access to and have just, just remote control of everything. Pretty cool, so in the same time you just need to fill around with a camera and especially in the microscope where just a little shakes can just ruin the complete result. I think the Wi-Fi box is just pretty cool. That means just first start with the pretty easy part here. Um, the Wi-Fi box, nothing special, paperwork here and you just get this little box. It's relatively light to be honest, so um, yeah, nothing really special. And that's just the complete magic of this Wi-Fi box. You can just really um, turn it on, turn it off. On the one side you get just USB type A, on the other side you get just USB type C, which is pretty cool. They could have gone for a micro USB, but USB type C everything, and I really like the idea. Relatively light, even though um, the battery is inside of it here. So you can just uh, charge it, power it up with a USB type C on this side. And the other side is just used for this OTG mode I'm just talking about in a minute, and we just take a deeper look inside of it. So the tiny scope is just claiming to get up to two um, micrometers um, optical resolution, 13 megapixels, um, it looks like this. The footprint is just pretty um, okay in my opinion. Also just some samples you can just get first impression of it. I really, I really like it. So the very first thing you will notice is you get really good manual. I must be honest, um, yeah, it's just written in really big and quite good to, on the other side. So you can just use the OTG mode from your um, phone or just um, with your Wi-Fi model for your iPhones. And everything else I will just explain in a second. So what do we got? We got the um, samplers here you can just use to uh, insert your liquids. That means I uh, will just probably zoom in a little bit better. So. We just get all the um, liquid samplers we've just here. Um, super easy, super simple, um, inside and outside. We get some probes, which is also cool. So pigeon feather, oh, you can see here better. A pigeon feather, dragonfly wing, lily pollen and cereally leaf. So these are just some things you can just look up and directly the probes are here in the middle, um, little bag. 
super tiny cleaning cloth. There's liquid samplers here to put it on. Here we have just the USB cable, also nothing special, and you just get um, inside of it here um, two um, adapters, so you can just adapt for the OTG mode from the USB type A, always the wrong side, to USB type C, and also just to micro USB if you have an older um, Android smartphone, so you don't have any problem or something like this. Last but not least, we just have the camera itself. And that's just everything. So this is just the complete camera, um, everything just you need to know. We have just an LED ring here in the front, USB Type-C for power and for data, a little bit of um, metal and just um, ventilation holes, you could say, so on this side, nothing on this side, nothing on this side. And here um, you can just pop this off, this is magnetically attached, and you just have the chance to fix the probe on the microscope like this for the white side and also just um, a black backdrop like this so you can just pop this on like here so it's now um, held in place so the probe sampler like this would be held in place and you can just swap this around to the white side if you want to so these are just the uh, complete idea of just using it and I'll pop this back on. So in my opinion, they're pretty cool, just compare it with an modern iPhone. This is an iPhone 11. This is just the tiny scope. So when it comes to the footprint, I'm pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. Okay, so all you just need is your tiny scope, the cable, your Wi-Fi box and an iPhone and you're just good to go. Way smaller and way simpler than the microphone uh, microscopes I just know from my school time yeah way smaller so first thing is just connect the wi-fi box to the tiny scope and as soon as i'm turning it on you will just probably be blinded by the lights okay first thing we just need to do is connect to the wi-fi box i have just here scope cam and as soon as my wi-fi and my iphone here is just connected to the wi-fi box we can just go to the tiny scope app you just get for iOS and Android, and then we can just um, select the tiny scope. Because the things you can do on the app is just super simple. I'm just, yeah, as you can see it here, you can switch between photos and videos. You can just also just video record what you just see on the um, microscope here. And you can also just, I will just turn this around here. So you're now just seeing the table give it a short try, so it always just tries to adapt when it comes to exposure and just the focus. But you can also just um, go up here and you also can just set the focus um, from automatic to manual as well as white balance and exposure. You can always just set it for yourself or just set it to automatic and set it and forget it. You also can just have a little grid down here where you can just see and switch to photos. So you now just have here the scale and you can also just set the resolution. I just set it to the maximum resolution as well as you can also just set some uh, horizontal flip, vertical flip, shooting sound, reference line, watermark, all the basics you just probably um, want to have from a microscope like this. Okay, this is now just super cool because now I'm pointing the camera here at a specific spot on my table where I just dropped a camera a couple of weeks, months ago, I really, I really regret it because, um, yeah, it's just so heavy, it was in a cage, um, so it dropped on the table and it just cracked open the um, coating or the, the um, painting of this table so we can just take a look at. In my opinion, just really, really interesting how this just looks like. Yeah, it's not real wood as you can see at this point, but super, super cool. I will put it up here. I have this little leaf here um, from, from a plant and we can just take a deeper look how the structure just looks like. Wow. And I've also just this little um, yellow um, leaf here from a rose. We can just take a look at that way. And that's better. So now we can just take a look at the structure and the surface. I can probably also just put my finger on it and you will just see it's just somehow dirty. <laughs> and because it's just Corona, um, I've just here one of my favorite masks. Um, pretty simple, pretty basic. But, and we can also just take a look at it and 
Wow, it looks just really interesting to me, at least. Also just make a video if I want to just have all these dots here and then all the fabric and the connectors in between. And everything, every single one of these is just roughly one millimeter big. Um, as you also can see here, what you can also just take a look at maybe this dragonfly wing here. Um, this is just one of the, the samples you just get with your microscope. It looks, in my opinion, just super crisp, super sharp. And um, we have also this pollen over here. They look like this. So in my opinion, just super fast. We have just this uh, white backdrop and you can just also just switch it around and have the black one as well. So in my opinion, uh, really, really cool. And for something on the go and all the other probes and all the other um, liquid samples you can just use, in my opinion, really interesting product, really tiny. Um, it doesn't run on a battery. So inside here is basically not a lot, probably just the camera, a little PCB and the USB type C connector. It gets a little bit warm as well as um, this uh, Wi-Fi box here as well that you can just turn it off. Um, super simple and just charge it with USB type C. On the one side for schools, this could be just really interesting, especially when you're on the go and outside and you want to have a super close look at something. This is just really interesting. For signs, um, if you just really want to have it fast and easy and not just with a big microscope, this is also just super cool. Or just for each and every one out there who is just interested in the microscopic world, um, this can also be a really interesting solution in my opinion. So maybe you just give it a try. I really like the idea of it. So should you get one? Yeah, probably. I will also just put the link down in the video description. I think it's just better than I expected and works really good, especially with the Wi-Fi box. And the design is just thought out really good. I would love to have something like a, um, a tripod thread or something like this on the bottom. So this quarter inch thread, so I can mount it somewhere um, like on the desk, desktop um, based tripod or just on a bigger tripod and put all the things down here because now it's just, just flying around a little bit. So this could be just improved in the future. But besides this, this is just really a good product and I really like the idea and the approach of it. As always, if you dislike this video, you know what to do. But if you liked it, hit like down there, get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.